All kinds of creatures, great and small, are exploited by insect parents in this kind of way. This is Costa Rica, and here lives a species of orchard spider. They construct horizontal orb webs, as lovely as those made by any spider. But one individual has a hanger on. An anonymous looking grub is clinging to her abdomen. She seems little affected by having a passenger, and every day, as usual, she builds a new and perfect web. She is just as efficient a hunter as ever, but every cat she makes, she shares, in effect, with her passenger, for the grub is sucking her juices. Her passenger stays with her for some two weeks, slowly growing in size at her expense. And still, daily, she constructs a new web. Then one evening, when as usual she starts to spin, something seems to have gone dramatically wrong. She seems incapable of making her normal beautiful orb. What she produces has no shape, no radiating spokes, no sticky spiral. It's just an untidy tangle. The grub is responsible. It has injected her with a hormone that has spread to her brain and deranged her. She has only an hour or so to live. This is her last act. Small claspers inflate on the grub's back. With these, it grasps the wreckage of the web so that it'll not fall as the dying spider loses her grip. It sucks the remaining fluid from the spider's body. Slowly, the liquid is withdrawn. Even the spider's legs are emptied until the corpse is no more than a husk. The grub has no further use for it. And now the grub, clinging to the spider's last tangled web, starts to spin for itself. It needs a shelter in which to reorganize its body, a cocoon. Inside the lacy walls, its body is breaking down, for it has to be reassembled in a very different form. At last, the killer is about to reveal its true identity. It's a wasp. Now it must fly off to find a mate so that another wasp egg may be attached to another orchard spider.